tell you what, Pezzo, Australia, Australia got it done, but my God, Sri Lanka were well in front for a long period in that game. But this game had it all. Australia learning how to catch for once. We had hoardings uh, falling into the stands. We had missed mancads. Warner blowing up at Joel Wilson had it all. Just makes you realise how long this tournament goes for. The highs, the lows, the ups, the downs. You think one thing is going to happen and then that will happen forever and then the opposite happens. People telling me, no, actually Afghanistan were the favourites yesterday to beat England. Join us here on the channel. Click subscribe for the highs and the lows. It still goes for another four and a half weeks of these bad boy, the turbulence. If you want the turbulence, come here every morning. Well, most mornings anyway, and enjoy the turbulence, the highs, the lows. Click subscribe on the channel. Australia chased Sri Lanka's 209, five down with about 14 and a half, 15-ish overs left to spare. Pezar, how are you feeling this morning? Yeah, I've got morning glory. Because for me, mm. the lid's off. <laughs> okay. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. The bin lids the, off. The, the signs were not good early in this game. Yeah. Burner reviewed terribly, first ball. Yep. Stark issues three man cad warnings. <laughs> There's at least one missed run out in that. <laughs> yep. Maxwell offers one of the angriest appeals I've seen. Yeah. And Joel Wilson says, wouldn't have thought so. I wouldn't have thought you play so. for Australia. No. Nope. And Maxwell was right to appeal. Mm -hmm. Kusil Pereira's dominating Australia basically concussed. Yes. <laughs> Travis Head's fast becoming Australia's greatest ever modern player yes. in his absence. So crucial. WhatsApp groups are pinging deluxe. Mm -hmm. Each little ping and vibration preparing to issue the death knell yes. for Australian cricket yes. as we know. It, Bang for they, blood. Mate, they are on they, Australia was on the edge of a cliff. Oh my a God. cricketing cliff dangling by one ex English player's <laughs> well defined claw. Yeah. And uh and then the big boys step up. Mm -hmm. You know? Then Cummins comes to the party. Yep. Breaks it open. Warner's taking great catches. Zorby's got a Jimmy Jack yep. issue. Yep. But he comes to the party beating blokes on the inside. Uh, someone's obviously stitched up Michael Clark uh, <laughs> yeah. ahead of the game. And Cummins ain't playing. Oh, Joel, he's toss. Joel Wilson's given us decisions. Yeah. And then Australia come back into the uh, into the tournament. I and, like it. Uh, I like it. Look, some might say. Mm. Some might say Here we go. this is the illusion of a recovery. Sure. A wizened voices, viewers of the game, observers might say it's the illusion of a recovery. Settle down. They've beaten Sri Lanka. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. um, I prefer to say, no, here comes Australia. Mm. Head is on the next plane out. Watch out, India. The World Cup is ours. It's coming it's home. <laughs> I've also been seeing a doctor about mood swings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> TJC is brought to you by Cricket.com. You can download the Cricket.com app. Indeed, Pezza, where from? Where would you download an app from, just generally speaking? Uh, an app store? An app store, I reckon, yeah. Just yeah. download the Cricket.com. Not to be confused with Napster. That's different. That's a different Sitting thing entirely. In a New York well, accent, well, Lars, the drummer from Metallica, mm. saw that right off. Yeah, didn't he? Uh, much in the same way Australia did last night to Sri Lanka. Well oh, played, yes. Yeah, yes. the go. boys are on. Segways are Come on, on boys. Now. Come on, boys. Let's go, boys. <laughs> <laughs> one for Clarky here. Go on, come on. One for Pup. Who do you reckon? <laughs> who do you reckon stitched Clark up? If you haven't caught this, at least in the Australian now, media. Now, there's a man who's connected to the Australian right. team. Hell of a yeah. facelift. But um, yeah. uh, if you didn't catch this in the Australian media in the hours before the game, as, mm. uh, as everyone was sharpening their, their ex-English player clause, yes. uh, Michael Clark says he, he'd heard a rumour yeah. that Pat Cummins had been dropped from the game. Yes. And as soon as we get the uh, coverage of the game and they go to the toss, there's Cummo. Yeah, there's I'm like, is, is this the first time a captain's tossed the coin without playing? <laughs> a little edge for Australia. They've yeah. actually got a, 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 a specialist tosser, <laughs> which many people say Michael <laughs> Clark used to be. Oh, yeah. Hey, yes. Come on, boys. He's he's yes. Done. Fuck it. Come Sing on, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck, everyone's worried around the world now. Here come the Aussies. What with their segues? Uh, oh, here goes. All right. All the, right. The first thing we're going to talk about, have Australia <laughs> entered the chat? Was this a performance, uh, Pezzo, that eradicated everything we've seen before? Before, you know, I, I, I take you back in my little time machine that I have here to DeLorean. but uh, three weeks, four weeks, whatever it was ago, yeah. before the third game of the ODI bilateral Lateral. series in in. South Africa, Australia at that point had won 10 of their last 11 games. Yeah. Before this match, they'd lost seven of the next eight. 
The next game is against Pakistan on Friday. Yeah. Travis had his back in. Have Australia entered the chat? Yeah. Well, I'll t- well, tell you what. India, who's watching? <laughs> yeah. You guys ever seen the Melbourne Cup? Mm. You ever seen a horse race? Yeah. Tell you what. I don't want to be round in the bend first. At the first bend, I don't even know how to talk like a horse race. <laughs> oh. Uh, I mean, <laughs> if you, <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, four or five weeks ago or some shit, mm-hmm. Australia's number one in the world, smashing everybody. That's right. Now we're the worst team in the world, yes. staging a recovery. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like we're off to rehab yeah. to figure out how to play cricket again. Yeah. There's about 18 or so weeks to go. Mm, so yeah. you think if it is a horse race, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, South Africa's out in front looking great. Looking fucking sensational. Seasoned thoroughbred oh. at the first turn. Mm, sea biscuit. Ex- fucking sea, sea, fu- sea biscuit out sea, the front. Sea biscuit and black calf. <laughs> <laughs> and who's let's elope in this? Yeah. Uh, rounding the bend, first turn. And, uh, and Australia's just sitting there in the pack, just mm. probably two-thirds back, mm. just but just come up from the rear just, just and just having a look. Yeah. Right? Um, that's what the rest <laughs> of the world thinks when they see Australia in World yes. Cups because, we, you know, we've come from the back from the back before and we've yeah. got a great pedigree or whatever. Look, I, you know, there's, there's an argument. This is a bit of an illusion of recovery. Yeah. But I don't think that's very fun to talk about. I'd prefer to, to, to see us sitting exactly where you want to sit mm. in a horse race. I think the rest of the world see Australia as secretariat <laughs> – but they don't know that it's actually running towards the glue factory. <laughs> that's that's what I was saying because yeah. they've had some carrots. Obviously, oh, the, the carrots return. Uh, I feel like this was I feel like this was a, a carrotless win. Okay, it, it was it was like a, we absolutely must win if we want to return to the country. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, like, and I, I mean, okay, let's be serious for a second because I haven't been to this point. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is it's a full credit to the boys' win. That. Full credit they, to the they, boys. They, they, they were fucking, they were backs to the wall, edge of the cliff, claw, everything. It was and, game two and, halves as well. And, and exactly. And they, like Cummins, um, Cummins clawed them back in. Yeah. And then the rest of the boys came like, and they, and they all started sprouting together. Yes. You know, a big shower came down. Yes. The organic plants started fucking coming together as one. Mm-hmm. So let's so let's talk about the, the actual match itself, I suppose. Oh, yeah. And the second thing is that Sri Lanka lose nine for 52. So, Sri Lanka were none for 120 after 20 ish overs or something. Nasanka and Kusil Pereira were cruising, mm. albeit with a little bit of assistance there with from the uh, old JW, Joe Wilson there, um, with an LBW off Maxwell that was uh, given all that. Mm. It was hitting all three. Anyway, um, but to that point, uh, Australia were most definitely the 10th best team in the tournament. When that, when that, that was point, happening. Yeah. Um, Good reason to sharpen. Zampa was off the field. He'd mm. bowled two overs, I think, for about maybe 20-ish, yeah. something like that. He Went couldn't land 25 them. off his first three. He, he ends up being player of the match, and he's spoken uh, quite eloquently after the game about his, uh, he, he's injured, basically. Mm. He's injured. Um, well, that's all right, because I can – oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, Inglis had – put down a tough catch behind the stumps. Yeah, Marnus had tough, put down a tough, tough catch, catch, but it was there was all these like little things adding oh, up yeah. again where like there are these half chances again that, yeah. you know, good teams typically t- hung into one of them. Ace and, of base, mate. I saw the sign. And it was like, <laughs> that's a very good reference. <laughs> one for the 90s kids. Um, and, you know, after the last uh, troubles of putting down catches in the previous two games, you're like, okay, Australia has now not caught a ball since last spring. Yes. And you're just August thinking, hands. at this point, Australia was genuinely the 10th best team. And then mm. there was a rain delay. But before then, Cummins and, Zamp- Cummins and Zampa take crucial wickets thanks to some excellent catching from Dave Warner. Yes, crucial Mendes. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, Cru- almost, almost said a cruciate Mendes. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Australia, Australia, well, Warner almost did his cruise at Mendes for taking that second one. That's what one. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Australia took all 10 wickets for 84 in 2012. So once that first one went down, the, uh, the the floodgates opened. 84. If you will, yeah. 10 wickets for 84. Got to say, I didn't see that coming. No. At none for 128. I did not see I that go, pack you know coming. What, you know what they yeah, – d- yes. Uh, but, yeah, I guess you, you, you know fortunes are changing when Joel Wilson's helping you out. Um, <laughs> um, okay, Pez. Well, just, just talking about the, the collapse, generally speaking, I'm going to introduce, of course, this favourite segment. It's time for cricket.com's stat dog. Good little boy. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. 
viewers, <laughs> listeners, I'm kidding. I'm not kidding you. Like, we had a... <laughs> Charlie, that Charlie. is. That well, is some Charlie. of your finest work, Charlie. Uh, oh. I've heard that for the first time. I was denied. <laughs> I was I was refused the chance to hear that ahead oh. of this show. We, we we alternate who brings the stat dog each time oh. and, the, and the three things or whatever. We had a uh, we have a little catch up on Monday morning and uh, we we're going through. What's this guy's name? I show speed. Speed right. Yeah, uh, and he's he's doing he's uh just like like a very energetically mm. uh, and aggressively doing like Virat, who he calls Virat, Virat uh, yes. versus Dhoni chats, which is mm. perfect. Like he's found the yeah. the elixir straight away. Yeah. So credit to him. Mm. And we we're just talking about Stat Dog and how to like uh, how we can get that bark going. Yeah. And uh, just 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 ask Charlie. Listen, yeah. can you can you sort of play um, yeah. speed the speed guy uh, in yeah. there? And um, that's that's the first time I've heard that. What I've enjoyed the most about that as a surprise for listeners is that people are going to be on the bus right now Mate, going to work in the morning. That's the other just, thing. Like, <laughs> just, like, just listening to a silly <laughs> review of the game, and next thing I know, my jaws over the other side of the room. <laughs> Very jarring. I'm texting blokes for caps. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about stat dog. Okay, so this this stat pezza is lowest ODI all out total to involve a 100 run opening stand in oh, a World yeah. Cup. Okay, okay, all okay. right, all right. Hard to say, but I get it. Okay, so in a World Cup game, the yeah. opening partnership is 100. Yeah, and then what's the lowest scores since From then? There. Now Zimbabwe is number one, 188. All out against Sri Lanka. Then it was okay. England in 1979 with 194. Then this one, yeah. Sri Lanka out 209 versus Australia in 2023. The opening stand was 125, of course. Yeah. Um, and then there's some other ones that uh, whatever. But so this, so this is the third lowest total, total all out after Fantastic. a 100 run opening stand in a World Cup. Well, I can uh, get straight oh. on the phone to Tori <laughs> after this and go, hey, babe, <laughs> babe. <laughs> Did you know <laughs> what the <laughs> last night was the third lowest total of a team being dismissed following a 100 uh, run yeah. stand? Oh, what? Is that Sri Lanka? Is that is that, <laughs> is that Nasanka and Pereira there? Why? Why? Uh, you two are never in the same room for some reason. You're yeah. never talking in the same room. <laughs> um, here's another stat for you, Pez, because Mitchell Stark finishes with two for something. What did he finish with? Two, two for 43. But he, uh, Someone will tell you. Yeah, that's right. So uh, also another stat for this one, Australia have nine wins against Sri Lanka in World Cups. That's the most by a team against any opposition. So Mitchell Stark, though, in an ODI. They won the big one, though. Indeed. In uh, 96. So Mitchell Stark in ODI World Cups, 21 innings, 54 wickets. He averages 15 at a strike rate of 20. He's got three fourfers, three fifers. How many wicketless innings do you reckon Mitchell Stark has ever had in 21 innings? Zero. 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 Uh, but anyway, he was probably the third best bowler, but uh, I just like that stat from cricket.com. But uh, but Zampa finishes with four for 47. So after the rain delay where we saw hoardings from the um, from the grandstand literally falling into the fucking- Yeah, uh, dust storm. Yeah. It was a dust storm. Was it hoardings, dust, was it? There was a dust storm at some point. Okay. Hoardings, or hoardings are falling. Right. They had to evacuate uh, f- like fans from that area. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, I think players are a little bit worried. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, so after that- Not del- great. But Not thankfully, ideal. there weren't that many fans to hit, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so there's the, every cloud, you know. Yeah, then there's more of the Sheffield Shield yesterday. <laughs> well, um, they said the crowd was 7,000. It's like, wow, that's a lot for what I could see. <laughs> for what I, I didn't know if I could count to 7,000 just from one <laughs> image on a screen. Um, so anyway, so after that delay uh, of a few minutes or so, it wasn't, wasn't too big a delay, but then after that, Zampa picked up three more wickets afterwards. As I said earlier, finished with four for 47, but uh, Cummins finishes with um, two for 32, but he also had a crucial run out of uh, Walala Gay. Um, yeah. You were noticing before, clean pickup. Clean no, pickup and throw mid-off. It was big. And they went to, um, yeah, like I, I think people have probably glossed over it a little bit, uh, but it was a very, very uh, – like high quality run mm. out in that if you just look at it like face value, he, he picks it up at mid on and throws a stumps down. But um, the way the ball's hit to him, it's got overspin on it and it bounces to him at like a good length. It's not on a half, it's not a half no, volley pickup, yeah. which, which is also tough, but he has to, he has to rise with it to pick it up cleanly, which he does throws a stumps down. I think the reason it's important is because, a, you know, fielding and attitudes are contagious. Is yours worth catching? The, the catching had been so bad for a couple of Australia games. Australia were flat as yeah, well in the first 20 overs. Fuck. They looked shit again. Window to the sole stuff, yeah. edge of the cliff, everything. And it, it's Wallala Gay, so they're into the um, 
the the innings by that point. They've taken a couple of wickets, but you know. The big boys, Warner stepping up with those catches. He's got. I think he has to take those catches. They're excellent catches. If he drops them, you're thinking mm, crow's feet. The skill in the catch is um, making the ground to get there and then steadying his body to catch it. That's so right. Like, so the both good catches. His, his knee goes into the turf. Oh, he can easily drop it from there. Nasty, yeah. So so they're they're, they're high, high, high quality, high quality catches. catches. Yeah. You still got to take him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you know Cummins has run out again. They're just it, for whatever reason in sport, you don't pick that ball up cleanly or throw the stumps down cleanly if your team isn't fielding well. Yeah, so, that's right. So both those senior players managed to rest that momentum Huge and turnaround. change it. And, they're, and now they've got a little bit of uh, quality going in that department. So yeah. I just wanted to shout out that run out from the skipper. Not easy for a fucking uh, six foot three, four guy to get down and do that either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mind it. Plus, Sing- plus, plus, Pup didn't even think he was playing. <laughs> <laughs> Third and final thing, Marsh and Inglis finally make 50s for Australia. Their first 50s of the tournament. Um, that, that, being, that being the Australian team. And also what I liked, first ball of the innings, yeah. uh, Mitch Marsh um, against Kumara pumped him over mm. his head down the ground and was just like, oh, the boys are on here. Now, are on. from there, uh, Madhushanka, who was absolutely outstanding, he finished with three for 38 off his nine off nine overs, but at one point he did have three for 15 off five overs. Um, no one else really went with him, um, but uh, he was excellent. So he had Warner, LBW, and then Smith, LBW for a duck. Warner had 11, then... Um, that was one where he, he tried to pull a ball at sort of a length and it kept him maybe a little bit low. Umpires called flicking the stumps and he was fucking absolutely livid with Joel Wilson. Yeah. Um, I thought it, I think Wilson- It looked jo- out enough. Yeah, yeah. I, I do. I think it was like yeah. in defense of Joel Wilson, he's yeah. given much worse I've decisions. seen worse, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and one time yeah. didn't, 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 uh, yeah. didn't, didn't fancy giving yeah. one, uh, <laughs> I, I recall. That's right. I but, recall. But I, I thought that- it, I thought it was out enough. It was out enough. I don't I think agree. it was uh, like mm-hmm. he, he deserved to be fucking yelled at. No, uh, 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 David, I'm sure is uh, is losing some match fee there, if not all of it. I would have thought it was pretty. It was pretty shit out. So like just scream at the umpire. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so uh, but if he was screaming for previous decisions, I'm back on board. I am back on board. Yeah. He was like, no, no, this has nothing to do with that. Oh, yeah. okay, right. Yeah, keep your match fee. Um, Marnus then joined Mitch Marsh for a crucial partnership. Mitch Marsh was then, he ran himself out for 52, running for two to the point boundary. That was pretty shit ass, but he was excellent again, top of the, top of the order, 52 or 51, nine fours. Marnus was eventually out again from uh, Madhushanka, 40 of 60, pulled the ball to mid wicket, but, um, important partnership, an important okay. partnership also with Inglis. Yeah. Because Australia were two for twenty four, then three for eighty one when Mitch Marsh was out. Then three in- for eighty with Inglis coming in. With Inglis coming like in, no against- runs against his name. Plain spinners. Yes. Teague Shana Bowl and Karen balls. Yeah. And uh, he's he's got no pedigree at that uh, like in that position for the nation. At three for eighty, that had Australia five six for ninety written all over it. Mm. Um. Anyway, uh, Inglis played his most important innings for Australia so far. Absolutely. Fifty eight of fifty nine. Um. And. He looked him. fucking sensational against the pace, yeah. especially. Um, glides uh, towards third man, an exciting fucking sexy hook shot as yeah. well. Um, it was a drive down the ground as well that was outstanding. Still got some questions about the spin, but um, but how important Massive. his role is Massive. given um, the Kerry is now out of the tournament. I mean, there's no there's no way back in for Kerry. I don't, I, don't, I can't see. Um, so that is absolutely crucial. And then when he was dismissed, uh, Glenn Maxwell and Stornis came together. Maxwell, 31 of 21. Stornis, 20 of 20. Job done after 35.2 overs, winning by five wickets. It wasn't, um, it wasn't the cleanest, most pure victory, but, uh, but chasing that kind of total, you know what? You'd fucking take that, wouldn't you? They were, they were one foot on the plane, Australia. Yeah. Uh, but then Cummins comes to the party. Fielding comes to the party. Zorba comes to the party. Mitch Marsh is at the party. Max is slapping them. Stoin's bougieing them. Josh Inglis steps up. Uh, I thought it, it's fair to say, like it looked, it was looking very dire for Australia. Yeah, Greg Dyer le- leading mm. into this game and at the start of this game. I don't think that was an unreasonable criticism to um, to yeah. base of base that. Yeah. So I think it's credit to them. Uh, they showed ticker. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether they can continue that momentum and slap Pakistan around a little bit and uh, mm. whether or not Travis Head gets on a plane and comes over now, the, the complexion of the side looks different when he's into it. So, uh, you know, ho- hopefully it's green shoots for Australia. I'm reserving judgment, to be honest, but it's yes. th- they, they fucking needed it and it came at the last minute. So uh, Australia-Pakistan is on Friday, so we'll be doing the review for that on Saturday morning, of course. Australia's next game after that is against the Netherlands. Um, so... Uh, you know, what happened tonight will happen forever. 
Uh, but uh, it was something. Of course, for Sri Lanka, like they've had, they've been so unlucky with injuries. You just think about uh, uh, Hasaranga, for instance, yeah. like missing this game. He would have been so crucial mm. in, the, in, the this, in this sort of game. The captain, mm. um, Shanika, uh, was obviously out with a thigh injury as well. Mm. And Paterana didn't play because he has what's his injury? A shoulder? Is that what he had? Uh, anyway, so, uh, I mean, uh, Sri Lanka, generally speaking, you've been so unlucky with injuries. This is a very young team for Sri Lanka as well. I think there's only maybe three or four guys above the age of thirty, so it's a young team. Unfortunately, this is the last ever World Cup, so it won't really matter for. Few future tournaments, but, uh, you know, uh, they've got enough quality that they'll beat someone uh, in that race for the top four, whatever. Mm -hmm. I just, I just, I can just see it. Um, hashtag ask TGC. Here we go. This is always some good stuff. Uh, and please get in your hashtag Ask TGC is generally into the comments below. We'll read it out into the next yeah. show. And th this type of Ask TGC as yeah, well. Yeah, that's right. And this one comes in uh, from Raj Row hit 897 hashtag Ask TGC. If you were presented an opportunity to do a live show in Kabul with Taliban as special guest and they were sponsoring the event to hype up the Australia v Afghanistan World Cup game, would you bring a batch of red cherries or helmets and pads as sort of attack and defense strategy? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know the uh, <laughs> the thought. I just want to know yeah. the man's life. Yeah, you know, yeah, the yeah. Le that leads to that question is just watching yeah. watching TJC yeah. and formulating. Yeah, uh, here's a hypothetical. What he'd like to know. Yes. So we're in Kabul. Yeah, doing a live show. Yes. Music, the music plays. We've got a special guest. Yeah, that's right. As, as we normally do. Yep. Um, and it's being hosted by the Taliban. Is it? Uh, or, the or Taliban's we, a special guest. The Taliban's a special guest. Yeah. Is it sponsored by the Taliban? Is that what it says? Yeah, and they were sponsoring the event. Sponsoring. So, so this, the TGC the is brought to you by the Taliban? Yeah. It's a new one. Um, <laughs> i got to say, uh, I don't feel like there's anything we could say right now that would mm. be worse than the suggestion yesterday that, that, um, that Afghanistan caused an upset. Over oh, England. Oh, right, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. was phrased as a question. Yes, that's by right. By the way, yes. a provocative question. Mm -hmm. It certainly provoked yes. a game where Afghanistan, to that point, who hadn't won a World Cup match in 17 goes, mm. uh, at, at, at which point before that they beat Scotland, yes. defeated the reigning champions of both 50 and 20 over cricket, yeah. the best team over the last five years. I had Afghanistan in front for most of the game, yeah. 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 Um, Going into it, I thought they were favourites. Getting woke scolded for the question, <sighs> the question alone. Um, you know so what? I don't think there's anything we could say here mm. that yeah. could upset people oh. more than oh, the I suggestion. See. You know I what see. I mean? I you can see. say what you like. Yes. What would you use, red cherries or helmets, whatever. Mm. Mm. I reckon if we're there... Neither is really going to assist us. Yeah. And if you are a fucking moron, please click like on the video and subscribe to the channel because we welcome your stupidity here, much as these two idiots sitting in Melbourne talking about the cricket with, as some people say, zero ball knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fucking frightening smile. Uh, there's another game uh, sometime soon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got the I haven't got the fixtures no, in front of me. No, without doubt, there's, there's a game. There's another game sometime soon. We're also recording the main podcast main pod. out on Spotify, iTunes, etc., and of course on YouTube here later today. That's going to be coming out tonight. Um, so uh, plenty more on the channel. If you're new here, click subscribe. If you've enjoyed the video, hit a like, and uh, we'll see you guys real soon.